proprietor of Moriarty's, you see. The saloon? But please, see for yourself. Come by for a drink or twelve. You and I, oh, we're going to be fast friends. Fast friends. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I, I must... Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and... Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not, and yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. And like any commodity, it must be sold at a reasonable market price. So what's reasonable? Let's say, oh, a hundred cops, and daddy's location's yours. All right, kid, let me help you out, you know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Eager, eh? Good. I like that. It's nice to have a door in this shithole of a town for a change. This junky bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> You got memory problems, kid? You ain't getting something for nothing. So pony up the 300 caps and then we'll talk. Oh, no, no, no. I offered a deal for 100 caps. You declined. So now I'm offering a new deal for 300 caps. But why worry about trivialities when your father's safety could be at stake? I'm reasonable, but I'm not crazy. How can you bargain with me and not have the caps? And so now we part.
it's time we discuss something. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Well, my presidency. That bastard. He's a he's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them. Look, I used to work for that slob, doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with the pig to seal the deal. Next morning he tells me I couldn't leave. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. I am your duly elected representative. Of course, when the time comes, when my term is up... You do that for me? I never expected anyone to care enough. Here you go. Thanks, kid. You're all right. collective values forward into the future. Democracy...
Well, hey there, stranger. I'm man. If there's any. Send Nathan home if you see him. Hello. Come on, you piece of junk. And back he comes. So, are you just thirsty? Or are you ready to pay? You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. Good. I hope she got what she deserved. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. And so now we part. Dunk. Every day it's the same damn thing. Shall be blind with his glory. Yeah. Where you're swinging, the ear shall be stricken dead. Hear the thunder.